Hi guys, this is Michelle Nicolias from Michelle.com and today I am reviewing Casual. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Casual is a project management tool that is pretty intuitive and easy to learn, but it still lets you track dependencies within a project and keep track of uh, simultaneous tasks in a way that most project management tools don't let you do. So this is the home screen. This is what you see when you log in. You can see I've got two projects here. You can see that both of them have a progress bar. If you go to the overview section, it shows progress, it shows overview and upcoming tasks and all projects, and then it shows things that are assigned to you. So these are the only two tasks out of the tutorial project that I've, assi that I've assigned to myself. So once you click on a project, this is what you see. You can see that I left it pretty much blank because I wanted to show you guys just what it looks like as you build a project. So there's three ways to add a new task. You drag and drop one. You drag and drop the new task thing onto the grid. And then it just gives you an unnamed task. You click on it and can edit it. That's it. Over here you'll see that you can add a deadline, an executor, and then you can also add notes here, upload a file, add comments, all that good jazz. So you can also just hit enter, to add, well I guess not right now because I've got it on that. You can hit enter to add a new task. And then you can keep adding them. So if you were brainstorming during a meeting and you just needed to keep adding tasks onto the grid, then this is what you do. Now let's drag and drop some of these tasks around. And then you'll see this is where the dependency feature comes in. So you can link tasks like this. You just drag and drop the arrow. And you can see that now this task is marked, test task two is marked as uh, this is the first task you need to get done first. And then you can also do this so that it's marked that both of these tasks need to get done at the same time. Then you drag and drop this other task down here and you can link them like this. So for example, this would represent that test task three depends on test task, test task two getting done first, but test task four does not. Task ta this can get done without this being done, but this can't be done without this being done. Man, that was a tongue twister. You can also create a new task by just dragging and dropping the dependency. There you go. So that's the three different ways to add tasks and that shows you how you link the task a little bit. There are actually some more features. So you can convert any task to a group. Once you convert a group, I'm actually not 100% for sure how to add tasks to a group. Wait, aha, here we go. You double click on it, you add a new task. And then you can link those two tasks. You could keep doing this until you had a whole sub project here. And then when you look over here, it shows that it's a group. It shows the things that are in the group and it shows a progress bar right here, just like the main screen. So if you look at the sidebar, it shows you the current test tasks and future tasks, and it shows all of these as being blocked. So they're all depending on this. If I mark this as done, then these two tasks suddenly open up as available. And you can see a slightly more complex project. This is an example of a more com complex project. This is what it looks like in the visual view. And then this is what it looks like on the sidebar. This is their tutorial project. So everything that shows up here in my tasks, these are tasks that are assigned to you and tasks that are not assigned to anyone. So you can see that in action right here because there are some tasks that are assigned to me and some that aren't that are all showing up in the sidebar. And that again was that uh, dependency in action. 
So the big benefit of having it set up this way is that it keeps you and your team focused on what's now and what's next. You're less likely to be looking at this super huge long task list and getting overwhelmed because it just shows you what you can work on right now. It keeps your eye on the prize, it keeps you focused. So that's a pretty big benefit and that's something that you don't really see built into a lot of project management tools, especially ones that are this easy to use. One more thing that I'm going to show you is what it calls the executor mode, which is this. So you go out of visual mode into this mode and it lets you see, see it explains it right here, people, tasks, task details. It focuses you on working with tasks. So this is like the daily sort of view. It doesn't give you the big picture. It even more keeps you focused on what's now and what's next. And as a last thing to touch on, you can share the project, you can share a snapshot, you can share as an image or save as a PDF and then email those to someone. And it's pretty reasonably priced too. They've got a 14 day free trial and after that it starts at $9 a month for two users and it goes up from there. So if this looks appealing to you, if you think in lists, but also want a way to track the relationship between tasks without necessarily um, making it over complicated. This is a really great way to do it. And I think it would be equally useful for freelancers or for people working with teams, as long as you're the kind of person who does think in this way and who does need to see dependencies, especially if you're a freelancer who gets overwhelmed by looking at the big list of things, this might be helpful because it keeps you focused on what you can do right now and what you can do next. So that was it. Um, the link to the notes is going to be in the video uh, description. So feel free to click on over and read the rest. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.